Alrighty guys, welcome back to the best investing money management channel on YouTube. In today's video, I want to talk about why I personally think that we are just getting started with this crash and how it could easily last up to 10 years of market sell off. And the reason why I say this is because if we go ahead and we go back to this chart right here, this right here is just the, the Dow Jones um, broken down by a 100 year chart. So you will notice just this massive sell-off right in here. Now, during this time, this was the Vietnam War. So the government actually had to do very, very similar things. They had to print money and, and trying to keep the economy afloat during the during the war. And when they did this, right, if we look at this chart, um, 1966 all the way down to about 1980, was just a general sell-off, right? The market just got absolutely obliterated. It lost, you know, it was at 9,000 and went all the way down to 2,600. So it sold off more than double, if not triple. Um, and the reason why is because, like I said, the government was printing money, trying to get through a war, took on almost a trillion dollars um, in, in, you know, 40, 60 years ago. That is a lot more money. Um, but overall, halted the economy. And I definitely think right now, very, very similar similar situations. Right now, we have very, very high interest rates. Interest rates during this time, extremely high. People did not take out loans, causing the market to continue to sell off. Two, inflation. We had very, very high inflation during this time. Today, we have very, very high inflation. Three, war. Right? For those of you that don't know, Russia and Ukraine, there's so much so much fear and emotion in in the market, so much volatility and war, very similar to the Vietnam War, um, is what we're kind of experiencing right now. So how long will this last? That's what that's what a lot of people like to say. Well, if if we know one thing, history tends to repeat itself. So looking at this nineteen, you know, right now nineteen seventy chart, this sold off for about 10 years. And now this wasn't really during the Vietnam War, this was straight after that war. Um, and then it took about 10 years for the, for the state of the market to continue to work its way up. So how can you guys prepare? Well, the very first thing that I would like you guys to do is start holding a little more cash than you would like, right? The reason why that is, is because holding cash is king during a recession because you can continue to invest, which is super important. Three, you can you can have disposable money. You, you're, you're more liquid. Um, and during these times, historically, businesses tend to slow down, um, meaning that there's possibly gonna be layoffs and stuff along those lines. So if you have a little more cash, if something like that does happen, you can always use the, that cash to get you, you know, get you through that hard time. Um, Three, continue continue to invest in the market. If we know one thing, over the past 90 years, through all these ups and downs in, in the market, it's had an average annual return rate of about 9.8%. Meaning, if you'd have bought in during that Vietnam War, held it till now, you'd have had a return per year of about 10%. Okay, And using these opportunities to buy in at these lows, right? Buying in at, at these major crashes yields you another 10%. So it's actually about a 22% return. Um, they, they found out that people that invest during recessions receive per year. So you're doubling what the average investor will do if, if you continue to invest. So I think that's the approach you should have, but how long will this crash happen? If we know one thing, the average the average crash is a minimum of about 14 months. But obviously, comparing this to you know the Vietnam era in 1970s, where a lot of this stuff is very very similar, I definitely think it's going to probably take about three to five years before we see a somewhat stable economy to what it was you know previous of lockdowns and all that stuff. But I definitely think continue to invest, continue to buy, use these opportunities to get in at a more affordable pricing because right now, 100% of guess, right? I, I cannot see into the future, but if we know one thing, like I said, history repeats itself. We know that average is at 14 months, and then if, if it hits that mark, continue to buy. Don't get shaken out of anything. Continue to invest and let your 
P&L work for you over the long term, right? If you're an investor, you don't care about short-term volatility. You care about 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Uh, and then go from there, guys. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. We will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone.